Here's Majeri. Majeri gets tied up now along the far side, coming back the other way. Is number 11, Kerry Johnson. Beating. Front and a goal! How do you like that? The Tigers control most of the play. First seven minutes of this game, but we have a Syracuse deflection in front. Number nine, Ali Lacombe, one nothing Syracuse. Here's Kim Schlott cutting toward the net. Shot and it's in! Kim Schlotten somehow went by pole, and we are tied at one on the power play. That was a really good uh, personal effort by Kim Schlappen. She took a puck up all by herself. Here we see in the replay, she beats the defenseman wide and takes a shot on net. Good things happen when you put the puck to the net. Peril, backhander in front, nobody home for the Tigers. Peril steals it. Oh, and she scores! What a great effort by number 17, Carly Peril on the power play, and the Tigers lead it 2-1. to one. That was a great effort by Carly. We saw two of our T-girls get stuck behind the net together, so she's all by herself. She kind of puts it out in front, and gives her right back to her, and she gets a nice backhand top shelf. It would be a, a really big win for, for RIT to accomplish right now, but it would also be really good for them just to keep their season going and know that they are playing competitively. As the shot in, oh, off and hit the iron and bounces in. And just like that, we are tied at two on the power play. And number four, Akani Hoso Yamada with the power play goal. This is just, RIT got out of position and there's nobody there to step in front of that shot. She takes the shot high right off the crossbar and in.